hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sheila today we're going to be learning how to make the skirt that you've seen at the beginning of the video and uh, i'm so excited to share this with you because it has been a request for so long and when i got time i decided to create the the skirt that has the most requests in my dm so um the yarn that i'm going to use is ali's cotton gold which is a blend of cotton and acrylic and uh, you'll need two skins of this two skins is just enough you you'll use probably one and a quarter skins and um this yarn recommends uh two to four millimeter crochet hook so i'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook and a measuring tape and maybe a pair of scissors to finish up the the loose ends and also a tapestry needle so that's all you'll need for this tutorial and yeah let's get into the tutorial so um we are going to start off our project with a measurement so that measurement is going to be of your hip you're going to make a chain that can stretch to your hip measurement so you're going to start off with a slip knot like that and make a chain that goes all the way around your hips when stretched so make sure you stretch it to your hip measurement so um i had already done mine Mine is here, and I made a total of uh, 140 chains to accommodate my hip measurement, or for a size small to medium around there. So, um, from your chain that you've made, you're going to make sure this chain is not twisted. You're going to go along like this and make a slip stitch in the very first chain that you made so we are creating a loop for the skirt because we are going to be working in rounds so you're going to go in here and make a slip stitch so you should have something like this right now so um, from here you're going to chain up three and go into each and every chain with a double crochet so make sure you double crochet in each and every chain so this uh, chain three counts as a stitch and it's attached to the very first chain that we did so that means if you had a total of 140 chains like me then you should be having a total of 140 double crochets in the very first round so i'm going to go all the way around placing one double crochet in each and every chain until i come back to the beginning of my round and then i'll show you what to do from there all right so i've gone all the way around and i've placed my very last double crochet in the very last chain and i'm going to go on top of the very first chain three you're going to count one two three and into the third chain you're going to slip stitch so that marks the end of this very first round this is how it looks like um, we're going to round two and then um for round two we're going to do something different Um, round two we're going to start doing shells so you're going to chain up three and in that very space where you place the slip stitch you're going to place another double crochet so the chain three counts as one double crochet chain two and place two more double crochets in that same space where we place the slip stitch so this is what you should have this is round two then you're going to chain up three and you're going to skip a total of four four double crochets so one two three four and in the fifth 
you're going to place two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all in that same stitch then chain up three skip four and in the fifth you're going to place um, two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so we're going to continue doing that chain two and two more double crochets so that's the repeat for this row chain three skip four stitches and in the fifth place two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so we're going to repeat this all the way around and i'll show you how to do the next row after this okay so i've gone all the way around um placing uh shells i'll be calling them shells for this tutorial these will be my shells so i've been skipping four stitches and placing a shell in the fifth stitch and now right now you can see i'm left with four stitches here and now i'm going to chain up three one two three and skip those four stitches and slip stitch in this space after the very first chain because sometimes it's very hard to get into this stitch so i prefer to place it here in between these two first stitches so that will be my slip stitch and that marks the end of round two so we're going to round three round one was the row of plain doubles then round two was the row of shells all right so for round three you're going to slip stitch into this second double crochet we want to move into this space so slip stitch into that space once and then chain up three so this chain three will count as a double crochet double crochet again in that same chain two space chain two and then two more double crochets in that same space so that means we are placing shells in each shell and chaining three in between so round three is basically the same as round two just that this time it's very easy to identify where to place the shells always remember a shell is um, two double crochets chain two two double crochets for this particular tutorial so after that chain three go into the next shell with a shell two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets like that so we are going to go all the way around then you saw how i ended round two that's the same exact way you end round three and we want a total of seven rows of that particular pattern you're going to do a total of seven rows of shells so one two three four five six seven so that means right now we are on the second row of shells the second round of shells we need a total of seven so i'm going to go ahead and keep working and i'll get back to you guys when i have my seven rounds of shells okay so i went ahead to do my seven rounds of shells you can see one two three four five six seven and now we're going to do something different so um the next thing that we're going to do uh let me first show you how the other skirt looks like so right now we are done with this and now we've started creating the pineapple stitch so on row eight i don't know how long you want this to be but that's really up to you you can do seven like me you can do eight maybe ten if you want your skirt to be a bit longer because this is short so um 
On round eight, we are going to introduce the pineapple stitch. So, um, you're going to distribute those stitches very well. So, the way I did it, I'll place one in here and I'll skip three shells and then place another one here, then skip three, then place another. So, just find a way to distribute your pineapple stitch evenly like um, around your skirt so um, let me see this you can see what we did here we did a total of one two three four five six seven eight eight double crochets so every three shells you'll place eight double crochets and then uh, I went ahead to write down something. You can take a screenshot of this. It will help you. I'll, I'll explain how you use it. So it's one, 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 two, two, three, four, four, five. Then you draw a line and put nine. I'll explain to you what this means as we go along. So, um, so after round seven, we are introducing round eight. So slip stitch and slip stitch into this chain to space. Then chain up three. And I've told you this very first one is going to get a, sh uh, a pineapple stitch. So this is three. It counts as a double crochet plus seven more double crochets in that same chain to space. Four, five. They should be a total of eight, including the um, chain three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So this is what you should have for this. And then chain one, and then go into the next shell with a shell. So the next three shells are going to remain shells. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Then um, chain three, this time not, not one, cause here we chained one. So chain three, go into the next shell with a shell. Like that. Then chain up three, go into the next shell with a shell. Okay, so here we are. That means we've skipped three shells. That means the next one is supposed to be like this, which is eight double crochets. So you're going to chain up one, not three, one, and then in the next shell, place a total of eight double crochets. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight so after your eight double crochets you're going to chain up one so what you do on this side is what you do on this side so after your chain one go into the next shell with a shell so those are two double crochets chain two and two double crochets chain three go into the next shell with a shell so we want a total of three shells before we go to the next pineapple chain three go into the next shell with a shell so this will be our very last um shell before we go into the pineapple stitch So that's what you should have. And then chain up one. And then in the next shell, you're going to place a total of eight double crochets. So after your eight double crochets, 
this is what you have and um, I think by now you should be uh, you should be having what uh, mastering the pattern for this row so go all the way around until you complete round eight while doing this three shells and then introducing a pineapple so when you're introducing a pineapple you should be placing a total of eight um eight double crochets so i'm going to go around so chain one place a shell in the next shell So go all the way around and I'll show you what to do for the next round, which will be round nine. Round nine of the shells. So we're excluding this for now, this round, because you may get confused. Okay, so here we are at the end of our eighth round of shells. And now we're going to do something. Okay, after this last shell, remember we have three in between each and every pineapple. So you're going to chain up one, not three. One, because you're joining it to a pineapple. So we're going to go into that very first uh, chain three at the top of it and make a slip stitch. This is how you end your, your round, the one that starts shaping up the pineapples. So at this level, we are still here. We are here at this point. So you can see how the pineapples shape up. Let me just focus here. So they come out of this and then it starts shaping up. So the use of the other numbers that I gave you earlier on, the one 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 two two three four four five, those ones are related to this. So we've already done the row that has one here. So that's one of the rows. So there is um one one one. This is just to remind you of how many chains to put in between here. So it's one, 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 then two, two, then three, then four, then four, then five, five. Then when it gets here, you'll chain up nine. That's why I put a line and put a nine here. So that's what these numbers mean. They'll really help you not to keep um, backtracking what you did here to bring it back to the different pineapples you have to always remember what you did around here to even know what you did what you can do here and here and here so if you have these numbers it really helps to um keep track of what to do because you just count from the base of the pineapple and you know the first row of the pineapple has one that means here i'll put another one and then here it will also be one then when there are three, that means there is a two here, then another two, then a three, then four, four, then five is the final one that um, connects to the tip of the pineapple. So I hope I'm being clear on this. We're going on to our next uh, round. So after the slip stitch, you're going to chain up four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. So this is a chain of four. Go into the next stitch with one double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, 
double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and one last double crochet so they should be a total of eight so one two three four five six seven and eight so the pineapple has started moving outwards so after this remember we had one 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 so this is one then this one will also be one chain one and go into the next shell with um a shell which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets then chain up three and then go into the next shell with a shell which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets then chain up three plus another shell in the next shell okay so after this shell we're going to chain up one because remember this was one that means the next one is also one and now you go into the very first double crochet with a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet so we are placing one double crochet in each and every double crochet below so chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one you should have a total of eight double crochets so after this you're going to chain up one and go into the next shell with a shell and yeah that's the repeat for this row chain three place a shell in the next shell chain three place a shell in the next shell like that then chain one and jump into the pineapple with one uh, double crochet in each and every double crochet of the eight uh, separated by a chain one after each and every stitch so here we are you can see what's happening here is exactly what's happening here and here so we're going to go all the way around chain one uh, repeating that same exact process and then I'll show you what to do for the next row don't forget if it's not next to a pineapple then we keep it uh, we keep the flow of the pattern which is chain three and shell chain three and then a shell but once you get close to the pineapple everything changes basing on the numbers that I gave you previously so like here after the shell this wasn't like affected at all because it's not close to any of the shells any of the pineapples so once you notice you're getting close to a pineapple that means you'll chain up one you'll follow the numbers so it's one one then go into the pineapple and do one double crochet in each and every stitch separated by a chain one space then even after the pineapple something has to change you don't go on with the three uh, chains everything changes anywhere next to the pineapple so since we finished the pineapple we're going to chain up one still so what you do on this side is what you do on this side of the pineapple keep that in mind so after your chain one you're going to jump into the shell with a shell chain one 
chain three since this is not close to a pineapple it will maintain the three chains and then a shell three chains then a shell so I hope I'm clear on that go all the way around and finish up this round and I'll see you on the next round All right, so we've come to the end of this round and I'm going to chain one last chain because I'm close to the pineapple. And then I'll go in on top of the chain three. Remember, this was a chain four at the beginning of this round. So on into the third chain, make a slip stitch there. And um, that marks the end of the next round. And now we're going on to the next. And we are going to start uh, working loops into this uh, into these spaces that we've created for the pineapples. Six. So uh, we shall start off by making a slip stitch in this space, in the very first space of the pineapple. Then chain up one and make a single crochet in that very space, like that. Then you're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, five. And go into the next space with a single crochet. Chain five, single crochet in the next space. Chain five, single crochet in the next space chain five, single crochet in the next space, chain five, single crochet in the next space, chain five and single crochet into the very last space. So you should be having a total of six loops here. Then you're going to chain up one and one is because it's one, one, one. So we are on our final row that has one here next to the pineapples. So after your chain of one, jump into the next shell with a shell. Chain up three. Go into the next shell with a shell. Chain up three, go into the next shell with a shell, which is two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets, like that. So we've reached uh, somewhere close to the next pineapple. So you're going to chain up one, and then uh, go into the very first space in between the two double crochets, and make a single crochet there chain five single crochet into the next space chain five single crochet into the next space chain five single crochet into the next space and repeat this until you get to this very last space in between the two uh, in between these two double crochets so chain five single crochet so once you get your six loops you can see one two three four five six you're going to chain up one and jump into the next shell with a shell Chain three, go into the next shell with a shell. Chain three, go into the next shell with a shell. Then now we are close to the next pineapple. So chain one, single crochet into the very first space. 
chain five single crochet into the next space so this is the repeat for this round you're going to go all the way around doing this same exact thing that we've done for the different um pineapples if you get lost along the way just uh, look back and see what you did for the previous one and get back on track so i'm going to go all the way around and finish up this round okay so i'm coming to the end of this uh i, th I, I guess this is round 11 in total right from the beginning this must be round 11 and I've placed my very last shell and now we've come back to the beginning of the round so I'll chain one and slip stitch into that very first single crochet that I made in that space make a slip stitch there then you're going to slip stitch twice into that space like that the other thing you're going to do is chain up one and single crochet in that very space like that so we've moved into the middle of that loop and you're going to chain up five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop repeat that until all the loops are finished so i'm in my last loop and this time we have a total of five loops not six they'll keep reducing because the pineapple keeps reducing towards the top so now we have five loops and now we're going back to our paper Remember it was one, 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 then two. So we've done one, one, one. That means now we are moving to two. So I hope you're keeping track of that. So chain two, not one this time. And then move into the next shell. Like that then chain three and place a shell in the next shell chain three go into the next shell with a shell like that then when you get this finished you're going to chain up two because we are on the row that has two we are done with the ones that have one 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 so chain two go into the first loop with a single crochet like that chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five and single crochet in the next loop then chain five single crochet in the last loop of that pineapple so we have five loops still and now you're going to chain up two and go into the next shell with a shell so i'm going to leave you to go all the way around doing the same exact thing as we've done at the beginning of this row remember now the loops are five that's what you should keep in mind and everything else remains the same the only difference is now we are chaining two at the beginning and the end of every pineapple we are no longer chaining only one we're chaining two at the beginning and the end of every pineapple so keep that in mind so go all the way around uh, following the trend of the pattern when you get to this part which doesn't have the pineapples just keep it uh, constant chain three and then a shell in the next So go ahead and I'll see you when we are doing 
round 13 because this is round 12. Alright, so I went ahead to finish up this row and I ended with a chain 2 and a slip stitch in the very first single crochet that we made here. And now um, we are going to start on the next row, which is round 13. So for round 13, you're going to slip stitch into this gap two times, just like we did when we were starting um, round 12. Then after your two slip stitches, you're going to chain up one and single crochet in that very gap. Like that. Then we are going to continue with the loops. One, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next loop. And one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in that last loop of the pineapple. Now you can see the loops are now four. Remember, we started with six, then they came to five, now they are four. So after this, we go back to our paper. It was one, 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 two, two. That means this was one, 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 then the next row was two, which was round 12. We had two in here. That means also the next tray is going to get two. So um, you chain up two and then jump into the next shell with a shell, which is two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets, chain three, make a shell in the next shell. that chain three make a shell in the next shell like that now when you get closer to the pineapple because this is a pineapple here that means you're going to chain up two because this row is demanding for two two chains that means we are going to um, go into the next loop with a single crochet. We've started uh, moving into the pineapple stitch, then chain up three, sorry, five. Single crochet in the next loop, chain five, single crochet in the next loop, chain five, single crochet in the next loop. And then chain up five, single crochet in that very last loop. So you can see the shape of the pineapple has started forming out. And it will even be clearer as we go along. Then after this, you're going to chain up two and jump into the next shell. So this is going to be the repeat for round 13. And you're going to go all the way around doing that same exact thing that we've done at the beginning of the row and then i'll meet you at the beginning of round 14. okay so we've come to the end of round 13 and we are going to chain up two and slip stitch in the very first single crochet that we did make a slip stitch then we're going to round 14 so for round 14 slip stitch twice into that gap chain up one single crochet in that very space so we're doing the same exact thing that we've been doing all along so after a single crochet you're going to chain up five single crochet in the next loop then chain up five, 
single crochet in the next loop chain 5 single crochet in the last loop so you can see the loops are now 3 for this round the loops will always be 3 in the pineapple so after this you go back to your paper and uh, check where you are we did one we did one 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 two two and now we are at this level at three so that means we shall be chaining up three then going into the next shell with a shell which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain three place a shell in the next shell chain three place a shell in the next shell like that then we're going to the next pineapple so remember this row is three so you're going to chain up three single crochet in that loop in the first loop chain up five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the last loop so that should bring you to three loops for this row which is the same exact thing that we have here so go all the way around I hope by now you know the use of this of of this um, list of numbers and you're going to make use of them perfectly well when it comes to the different pineapples so go all the way around and finish up um, round 14 and I'll meet you on the 15th round all right so we're at the end of round 14 and uh, you're going to chain up three and go into the very first single crochet that we did so we're going to round 15 right now and uh, We're going to be uh, starting off the same exact way. So chain up, sorry, slip stitch twice into this gap. Chain up one, single crochet in that very space. Let me first cross check with this cut. I want to know when to introduce uh, the next pineapple. So bear with me. okay it's on row 15 when we introduce the next pineapple and this is the same exact row we are at right now so after your single crochet you're going to chain up five single crochet in the next gap chain five single crochet in the next space so that's what you should have right now then we go back to our numbers so since we are done with three the next row should be four so keep that in mind so chain up four and place a shell in the next shell Sorry. so after this shell you're going to chain up uh, okay let me first explain this we're introducing the new pineapple which is supposed to be in between these two but since we have two here 
sorry, three shells. That means the perfect place to, play, to, to put the next pineapple is in this middle section. So this brings us back to what we did here at this level when we were introducing this pineapple. So we chained one here. So you're going to go back to your paper and notice that now we are on row one of the pineapple, which has one chain before and after the pineapple. So um, after this shell, you're going to chain up one and introduce a new pineapple in the middle shell. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So remember what we did here? It's the same exact thing that we are doing here. We are introducing the new pineapple. So after this, you chain up one and then place a shell in this next shell. And now we are on this pineapple that has already been built and we are at the row when we place four chains before and after the pineapple. So one, two, three, four, single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next loop. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next loop. So you should just be knowing where you're at at the moment so that you don't mess up things. So after this, you're going to chain up four because this pineapple at this level, it's one, 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 two, two, three, four. So after a chain of four, you're going to place a shell in the next shell. And now this is the place where we are going to introduce another pineapple. So chain up one and place eight double crochets in the middle shell. So after your eight double crochets, you're going to chain up one and go into the next shell with a shell. Like that. Then after this, you're going to chain up four because now you're on the pineapple that has already been built. Single crochet in the very first loop. Chain five. Single crochet in the next loop chain five, single crochet in the next loop. So right now we have two loops left. Remember we started with six, then five, then four, then three. Now there are two. So that means the pineapple is narrowing down. Same applies to this one. So that's what we are going to do all the way around. So chain up four, place a shell in this shell. Then after that shell, we're introducing a new pineapple. So chain one, plus a total of eight double crochets in the middle shell. Then chain one, double crochet, sorry, plus a shell in the next shell. So the shell is double, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So you can see everything is working out well. The pineapples have started like showing through the skirt. So after this, chain up four, single crochet in the first loop, chain five, single crochet in the next loop, chain five, single crochet in the last loop to have a total of two loops on this pineapple. 
so you can see that and now we're going to go all the way around uh, continuing with this pineapple but introducing a new pineapple in between the three shells at every point every time you meet the three shells the middle one has to introduce a new pineapple keep that in mind so I'm going to go all the way around and then I'll meet you on round 16 all right so we've come to the end of round 15 and I've chained my four chains because I was rich I was approaching this pineapple so after this you're going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we did and this is how your work should look like this is just a sample space this pineapple that's already building is narrowing down and we are introducing pineapples in every middle stitch of the three shells every middle shell so um let's go on to round uh, 16 so for round 16 you're going to slip stitch twice into this first loop chain up one and single crochet in that very loop so you can see the same line is somewhere around here but it's almost invisible so once you get to here you're going to chain up five and single crochet in the next loop and this time the loop is going to be only one since uh, the previous one was two so we have only one loop left and now we go back to our paper and we have we have finished this one and this one so we are on four again because the previous row was four then now we have four again here so you're going to chain up four one two three four place a shell in this shell and then now we are next to another pineapple and I'm showing you every step so that you don't get confused so for this second pineapple this was the first pineapple now for the second one we already done with one which was here for the previous row that means we are chaining one for the next row so um, after this shell you're going to chain up one if you're not sure you can just backtrack from here and see what you did for the next row so you can see we chained one here so after you chain one go into each and every double crochet with a double crochet separated by chain one spaces so double crochet chain one double crochet chain one so they have to be a total of eight double crochets since we had eight in the previous row so after this you're going to chain up one and then go into the next shell with a shell so after this shell you're onto the next pineapple so remember this pineapple at this level we had four so chain up four single crochet in this first loop chain five single crochet in the last loop that's what you have and then chain up four plus a shell in this shell after that shell you're going to chain up one and do the same exact thing that we did at this level at this point so double crochet chain one chain one double crochet chain one so go into each and every one of the eight double crochets with a chain one space in between so that means this pineapple has also started building outwards 
but then at this point this one is closing up this one is is narrowing down this one is stemming up so chain one place a shell in this next shell like that so we are going to go all the way around keep track of how many chains to put at this level remember these are four now and this is one for the new pineapple is one and for the old pineapple it's four so go all the way around and i'll see you on round 17. okay so we're coming to the end of um round six 16 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 round 16 and uh we are going to chain up four since we are on the old pineapple and then slip stitch into that very first single crochet that we made at the beginning of the round so this is what you should have and now we are going to round uh, 17 so for this round you're going to slip stitch into that loop because it's the only one left slip stitch twice into that loop chain up one single crochet in that very loop so after this you can see we are at the tip of the pineapple so we go back to our paper and we've worked the second uh, four so that means we are at five because it was let me take you back it was one 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 two two three four four and now we are at five so you're going to chain up five one two three four five and then go into the next shell with a shell this is round 17 so after this shell we are back to this other pineapple so it was one 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 so that means this row will also get one because it's one one then one for this row so after your chain of one single crochet in the very first space there chain up five single crochet in the next space chain five single crochet chain five go into the next space with a single crochet so we are looking for a total of six loops of five chains so so far we have one two three four chain five single crochet chain five single crochet in that very last space so we have a total of six loops that's the same exact thing that we had here so we are trying to repeat what we've done uh, in the previous rows so nothing is really going to change this is the flow of the pattern and after this you're going to chain up one and go into the next shell with a shell like that then now we are at this old pineapple and we are going to chain up five single crochet in that very last loop because it's the final loop that we've created out of the pineapple so after a single crochet there chain up five and place a shell in the next shell So after this shell you're going to chain up one 
and go into the very first space between the two double crochets and make a single crochet chain five single crochet in the next chain one space chain five single crochet in the next space chain five single crochet so that's the repeat for this row and uh, you're going to go all the way around doing that same exact thing until the end of the row and we shall move on to row 18 round 18 okay so we're coming to the end of round 17 and we are going to chain up five one two three four five and slip stitch in the very first single crochet that we did so make a slip stitch there so this is what we have for now the pineapple is shipped and uh, this one is stemming up this one is done so um, we're going to do something different for this row uh, what we are going to do right now is to move into this shell that's what I want to do so I'm going to slip stitch five times into this gap two three four and five like that and then I'm going to slip stitch into this very first double crochet and then slip stitch into the second double crochet so after this you're going to slip stitch into the chain to space and then chain up three and place another double crochet because we are placing a shell here so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets i just wanted to move a distance into this shell here so that's what i have for now don't worry this won't show you can see it's almost like one strip yet there too so after this we go back to our paper and we are done with one 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 so that means the next one is going to be two so chain up two and go into the first loop with a single crochet chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five and single crochet in the last loop so you should be having five loops right now because the previous row had six loops now we are down to five loops after this you're going to chain two place a shell in the next shell so after this shell we go back to the paper and right now we are done with all this and I drew a line and put nine but um, I may have to change it to seven instead of nine change it to seven because nine may be too long change to seven and uh, chain up seven so after a chain of seven go into the next shell you're going to skip all this and go into the next shell with a shell like that so this is what you should have and now we're going to go all the way around after this shell you're moving into the next pineapple so chain two because we are at this level now on the chain two so chain two and uh, single crochet in the first loop chain five single crochet 
chain 5 single crochet in the next loop chain 5 single crochet in the next loop chain 5 single crochet chain 5 single crochet in the next loop and this is all that we have right now then you're going to chain up two move into the next shell with a shell then now that we are at this point we are going to chain up seven And then go into this next shell with a shell. Okay. So that's what we should have. And you're going to keep repeating this all the way around until you come to the beginning of the round. And then I'll be showing you what to do for round 19. All right, so we are coming to the end of round 19. Sorry, is this? Round 18, sorry. So I've done my last shell and I'm going to chain up seven and then skip over to the top of the first chain three that we made and make a slip stitch there. So you can see the reason why I made uh, slip stitches here until this point. So round 19, we're going to do something different because we are going to be introducing our very next pineapple and we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch and slip stitch into that chain two space chain up three and place another double crochet there so that counts as two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so we've placed a shell in the very first shell then you're going to go back to your paper this was one 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 then two that means the next one is two so that's where we are right now so chain up two and single crochet in the next loop chain five 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 and single crochet in the very last loop so after this you're going to chain up two and then place a shell in the next shell. That's what you should have. And now we are introducing our very first pineapple of this row. So you're going to chain up one because the first row of the pineapple gets one chain before and after it. Then go into this loop, this chain seven space and place a total of eight double crochets in that loop so that's what you should have right now so at this point we've introduced a new pineapple which is this one it doesn't look exactly the same as this because uh, this is way bigger than this point but it will be fine it will even out with time so after this you're going to chain one and go into the next shell with a shell which is two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets then you're going to uh, we are at the level of two two chains of the old pineapple because it was one 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 then two then the next one is also two so chain two single crochet in the first loop chain five single crochet chain five single crochet chain five go into the next loop with a single crochet chain five single crochet 
chain five and single crochet in the very last loop there and after this you're going to chain up two and go into the next shell with a shell so after this shell you chain up one and go into this loop chain seven loop and place a total of eight double crochets so after your eight double crochets you're going to chain up one and move into the next shell with a shell and that's the repeat of this row let me show you how it looks like you're going to go all the way around doing that same exact thing until the beginning of the row and I'll show you what to do from there that means um, this is row 19 I'll meet you back when we are at row 20 and I went ahead to do some more rows up to round uh, 23 and don't worry um, there are no new pineapples introduced so I just went ahead and kept building onto this pineapple that we already had because I think we stopped at this level at row 19 so I went ahead to do row 20, 21, 22 and 23 so I kept building onto this pineapple to finish it up you can see it's almost finished and then I kept building this pineapple and you're going to still um, follow these numbers to know exactly what to do at what point so we are still following the same exact pattern if you're lost then you just backtrack onto the pineapples that you've done before and then you know where you are and you'll figure out what to do so this is round 23 it's finished and at round 23 I have one two three four four loops in this pineapple and the loops on this other pineapple are done the loops are done so for row 24 you'll slip stitch into this um, double crochet slip stitch into the chain two space then you're going to chain up three and then place a shell so those are two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so that means we've placed a shell in this very first um, shell so you can see right now we are at that point when the pineapple was finished so what we do here you chain up seven and then move into the next shell with a shell so you can see it's just a repeat of what we've done before there's nothing new here because we've done the same exact thing at this point when the loops were done we did a chain of seven and that means we are about to introduce a new pineapple at this point here so let's go ahead so after this shell so this was one 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 two two that means we are at the level of three so chain three single crochet chain so, sorry sorry chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop so what we have here the loops are done and then chain up three just like we did before the pineapple chain three and then place a shell in this next shell so after this shell you'll chain up seven and then skip over all this and move into the next shell with a shell so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets done 
so we are going to go all the way around doing this same exact thing so we are still working this but we are about to introduce a new pineapple in row 20, round 25 so right now it's 24 you're going to go all the way around and finish up this round and then I'll show you what to do for round 25 okay so we are done with round number 24 and we are going to slip stitch that marks the end of round 24 and now for the 25th round you're going to slip stitch into this uh, double crochet slip stitch into the chain to space and chain up three then double crochet again in that very space chain two and double crochet two more times in that chain two space so we've placed a shell in the very first shell then we are introducing our our new pineapple so in this chain of seven you're going to chain up one because we are introducing a new pineapple that means we are at the level of placing only one chain before and after the pineapple so chain one place a total of eight double crochets So after your eight double crochets, you're going to um, chain up one, place a shell in this next shell. And then we are going to continue um, normally to this other pineapple. So after the, th we are on the row of of three. So no sorry it was one 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 three one 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 two two three that means we are on the row of four so chain up four and make a single crochet there chain up five single crochet in the next loop chain up five and single crochet in the next loop so you should be having two loops left for this round then um, chain up four and then place a shell in the next shell so after this shell you're going to chain up one and go directly into the chain seven space and place a total of eight double crochets since we are introducing a new pineapple like that then chain up one and then go into the next um, shell with a shell so when you're done with that you're going to go all the way around doing the same exact thing I'm going to be giving you some more instructions so right now we are on round 25 which is this one on this skirt you can see the flow of the pattern goes on and on in the same exact way and uh, I'm going to leave you guys to do some more rows so this is um, round 25 26 27 28 29 so you're going to go ahead and do a total of 29 rows and I'll meet you on the 30th make sure you finish up your 29th uh, within that time you'll also introduce another pineapple somewhere around here because you can see this pineapple is almost getting done and so you'll work on it in the next rows just like we've been doing in these ones so don't forget the flow of the pattern that was the use of this paper so you're going to follow the same instructions until, until you reach round number 29 and I'll see you guys when you're there at round 29. 
all right so here we are after our row 29 round 29 and this is where i've stopped when i was introducing the new pineapple at this stage and here i have a total of four loops i hope you can see that four loops here and introducing a new pineapple here so that's where i've stopped and um Remember, we are counting our rows from this very first row of just plain double crochets. So right now you should be at round 29. And then I'm going to be showing you what to do from here. You're going to slip stitch into the next um, double crochet, slip stitch into the chain to space. Because now we want this. Uh, we are going to continue working this uh, pineapple until it pops out and we are not going to do anything here so we are going to be working on them separately so after this slip stitch you're going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet double crochet again in that same space chain two double crochet two times in that same space so we've placed a shell in the shell below then right now we are at one 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 two two that means the next row is three so one two three and single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five and single crochet in the last loop so that's what you have right now and now you're going to chain up three and place a shell in this next shell so that marks the end of this row because we are going to be working each pineapple individually so after this you're going to chain up one and turn your work turn your work to the other side then slip stitch into the very first double crochet slip stitch into the next double crochet slip stitch into the chain two space and chain up three now we're going to place a shell in this shell so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets like that then we are still going with the flow of the numbers so one 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 two two three that means the next one is four so chain up four and single crochet in the next loop chain up five single crochet in this next loop chain up five and single crochet in the next loop so right now we have two loops left and then chain up four and place a shell in the very last shell so this is what you have and then this marks the end of this row and then you're going to chain one turn your work slip stitch into the very first double crochet slip stitch into the second double crochet slip stitch into this space the chain two space chain up three and double crochet again in that same space chain two and then double crochet twice in that very space to make a shell so we've placed a shell here then now we are going to chain up four because it's four four so after your chain of four single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop so right now we have one loop left so you can see the pineapple is narrowing down again then chain up four and then place a shell in the very last shell like that then you're going to chain up one turn your work slip stitch into the very first double crochet 
slip stitch into the second double crochet slip stitch into the chain two space chain up three place a shell in the very first shell so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets always remember the first chain three counts as one of the double crochets so you just place one more then you're going to chain up five and then single crochet in this space in the last loop that's what it looks like and then you're going to chain up five and then place a shell in this very last shell so after this this is what you should have and you can see the pineapple is getting off the skirt we're having this shape right now and then um for the next round you're going to chain up one turn your work sorry row it's now a row it's no longer round slip stitch into the very first double crochet slip stitch into the second double crochet slip stitch into the chain two space then chain up three and place one more double crochet in that very space this time we're not going to place a shell so after this you're going to directly go into this space with two double crochets so what you do on this side is what you do here so there are two double crochets here since the chain three counts as a double crochet so two here and directly go into the next gap with um, another double crochet sorry another two double crochets so two here and two here then you're going to chain up three and turn your work and place your very last double crochet in between those two double crochets here and then you're going to chain up one and then cut your yarn we shall use a tapestry needle to hide this end but this is basically it this is how you work the protruding um, pineapples so you're going to go ahead and attach your yarn um so you'll be attaching your yarn sorry You'll be attaching your yarn uh, at this point. Since I'm right-handed, I'll be working from the outside part of my work. And we are going to be completing all these pineapples that have four loops left. And um, we work from here to here. And we are still going with the flow of this until we reach the fifth and then we do exactly what we did here so if um if you don't remember what exactly we did then you're going to just rewind the video the moment you attach your yarn here and work up this pineapple so i'm going to show you one last time for this second pineapple you're going to attach your yarn here in this shell chain up three and place a shell in there and then you go with the flow so one 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 two two chain up three and single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop chain five single crochet in the next loop which is the last loop of this pineapple and then chain up three and place a shell in this very last shell like that so you can see the next pineapple has started coming out so that's all we're going to do you're going to finish up this pineapple and after that you leave that and start on this one and shape it out then after that you move to the next one which is this one and finish it up and 
yeah that's basically it and that marks the end of this tutorial guys i hope you really love the outcome and uh, i can't wait to see what you come up with i know this tutorial has been quite long but it's really worth it so for this size it turned out to be a large it wasn't as small to medium since the yarn that i used is a bit stretchy so this would uh, accommodate a large so i'll have to change the introduction to make everything clear before people make mistakes um so thanks guys for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you always know when i upload every thursday and maybe in the middle of the week when i get excess time so but the main day is thursday um try to keep track of that and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys later bye